what's up guys so today I'm going to be showing you how I make my homemade hoof dressing really really simple and easy um, so we're using lard um, I'm making a big batch today so I've got four packs of lard here uh, now these cost me 39 pence a pack um, from Tesco's turn that down a little bit uh, let's get a bit aggressive now <laughs> so these packs each cost me 39p. Um, I've got some bay leaves here which I have ground up ready and I've also got some coconut oil and that cost me £3.30 I think it was. Um, so all in all this pot of hoof of dressing that I'm about to make, I worked out earlier, uh, it's actually costing me £5.85 for the ingredients, uh, so that is substantially cheaper than anything I've ever bought uh, from an equestrian store. So what I'm going to do, um, basically just going to melt all of my ingredients together, it's as simple as that. So I'm going to pop my packs of lard in to the bowl, I've just got a bowl of uh, saucepan of water that I've sat my bowl in here. I'm just going to drop these in. So that's then in there. Um, I just want them, I, I want it to liquefy basically, I just want to melt it right the way down. Um, and I'm going to have to do the same for my coconut oil. Not entirely thought this through actually, so what I might do is take that off the heat for a minute. So last time I made this, now that's very hot. Last time I made this was during our heat wave um, and we were experiencing like 30 degree days. And so I basically just chucked all of this in a tub down the stables and left it out in the sun. And 20 minutes later, it was completely liquefied and I was able to mix it together. However, it's not 30 degrees out now. It's very chilly out, hence I'm having to do it on my stove. So coconut oil um, it melts pretty easily so I'm just gonna pop that I should probably take the lid off actually there you go I've just taken the lid off there I just had a sudden moment of that might not have been the best idea heating it up with a lid on <laughs> uh, but yeah just want to soften that down and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my bowl of fat back on here um, and once they're all liquefied I'm gonna mix the two together and I'm going to add in my ground bay leaf. Okay, so the coconut oil softened up enough for me to get it out of the little pot. So I've gone ahead and chucked that in the bowl, put the bowl back over the heat. Um, so yeah, now we're just pretty much just waiting for it to all melt down. Okay, so that is completely melted now. I've given it a really good stir and mixed it all together. Um, so now I'm going to chuck in my bay leaf. is pretty much done I'm gonna do now I've just got um, it's just an old uh, supplement bucket that I have lying around so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and leave it to set So there we go, that's our finished product. Um, I'm just using an old, it's an old feed supplement tub that I've got. Um, I like to keep hold of these because they're really handy to put stuff like this in. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is it. Um, I think 
Going forward, I'd probably like to try and um, break down the bay leaf a little bit more. I've put a couple of extra whole ones in here just because it looked cute and I thought, why not? But I think I want to try and grind this down into a finer powder going forward. So that's something I'll definitely work on and tweak a little bit. But yeah, there you go. That's it. And um, this stuff is is really, it's really easy. It comes out really nicely. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that dogs love it. No, it's not for eating. No, it's not for eating. They absolutely love this stuff, obviously, because it's animal fat. And it is, like, it's all natural. So it wouldn't be the end of the world if they ate it, but I don't let mine eat it because it's for food, not for eating. Isn't that right, young man? But you have a jolly good go at it every time I leave it lying around, don't you? Yes, you're licking your lips now, aren't you? Yes, exactly. Okay, well, there you go, guys. That's that's it. That's how to make my homemade hoof dressing. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this one. I'm going to get on with my day and play with my ponies. Um, and I'll see you in our next video tomorrow. Who knows what tomorrow is going to bring. Bye, guys.